So with another baby on the way, these jokes are just going to keep getting worse. So, why can't a leopard hide? Because he's always spotted. You're welcome. Those on these ones. Oh, I wasn't to that yet. This is this. this. Not on the studs yet. That's a stud. Oh, it didn't have the red on it. See that? Oh. Look, you can see. Yeah. It didn't have it on the end. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other end. This is AC500 B300S battery. Easily this is the coolest unit we got from Blue Eddy so far. All right, so it's all hooked up. We got our cold water tank here, the line coming in through the ground down there. This is our 240 plug. We have these split phase together right here. So we have 240 at the top because this is a 240 pump. It's submersed way down the middle of nowhere, 390 foot well. So we're gonna give her, give her a go right now. All right, let's give her a go. Looks like everything's powered up. We're gonna get a hose on there and we're gonna turn it on. <laughs> I 
So this is the AC500 and it works along with this B300S as a combo. So this is marketed as a home backup system. So it's ridiculously cool. I wish we had this five years ago when we started our first homestead because literally everything's built into it from the charge controller, the inverter, everything. So it's like all in one package, good to go. And we wouldn't have to listen to generators and fill them with gas. It's like ridiculously expensive and things like that. Could have used this, charged it with the sun or charged it with our vehicle. Or if we were somewhere, you could charge it in a wall outlet. And you can do multiple of those at the same time. But before I get into that, anyways, it's just like super cool unit. Super excited about it. So it's a 5,000 watt unit with 10,000 watt surge. I mean, like you're getting into some like serious power with the unit like this. So this here battery here that you connect it to is 3,072 watt hours, but you can expand these, like you see the plugs here. You can expand and add more batteries. You can actually even add tether another one of these on and you can get over 18,000 watt hours by doing that. I mean, that's like pretty crazy. And over 3,500 cycles with these things. So I've showed before the AC200 Max, you can run it off the app. Well, this one here, there's also an app on the phone where you can control this with the app too. So being able to use like the app, you could just be like turning stuff on from your phone. So like I said, you could charge it AC, solar, cigarette lighter in a car, generator, lead acid battery. You could charge it AC and solar at the same time. So that's cool. And I'm gonna go through a few of the outlets here to give you an idea of like what all this has. It's pretty crazy. like. So it has like all those things, but at the same time, it has plugs that you could use right on it, just like any of the portable power stations. So that's pretty cool. So right away, it has the charging, wireless charging on the top. That's always a cool feature. DC outlets here, more like your cigarette lighter. USB-C, that's like your regular iPhone plug-in. Another one there, a couple of those. Regular USBs there. And there, regular outlets here, 20 amp max on those. That's a 30 amp outlet. There's another 30 with a different type, like an RV. And then there's a 50 amp outlet. That's pretty crazy. This here also can be used. You could actually just take care of this battery realm with you, without this also. And it has a couple outlets. It has 12 volt there, a couple USBs here. So that's a pretty cool thing about that too and you could use that to charge your other smaller blue eddy units if you wanted to and this could be charged by itself with the solar as well and you could plug it into both and be charging at the same time so you see it's got these these plugs here and then there's ones like you could plug these and then that's where i was saying like you could add more so there's outlets like all here for charging it communication interface things things like that got a message coming in on the phone it's clearly keep it charged so they got the handles on them move them around not the lightest things in the world but you're probably not just going to be like moving these around because it's such a big unit it's more of like a park it here and use it but they do have handles in case you were going to move it around like you throw the house or whatever so there's a four-year warranty on it so that's cool if you want to know more specs about this and everything all the links are going to be down below so you can go and check out all the specs. All the specs if you have this with the 300S together or if you have this with two of them or if you have two of these together and four of them or whatever. Like all the information is all going to be down the links below so you can go check out all the different ways you can build them. Build them with the solar panels with other different little units they have so you can hook it up to like a home system that's on the grid that can switch over to this if you lose power. There's like so many different ways you can kind of build it to like suit you so like all those links will be down below so you can check all that out and get like, any information you want okay as you've seen we obviously been using that ac500 for a long time along with the b300 the battery all that anyways that's a home backup for our new home server building right now so that's what that's going to be with that split phase together all that it'll run our well pump as you saw it'll basically run the whole place that's super cool it's going to be a cool backup power having said that we're going to do something fun right now. We're going to do an AC70 giveaway. So if you want to get in on that, you just got to comment below. Mention Blue Eddy in your comment and you'll instantly, instantly be in it. So that'll run until July 15th. And then after that, 
in a video shortly thereafter, we'll mention the winner. Do a random draw like we always do. Just a random comment picker thing. And we'll get that sent out to you. Also, Blue Eddie's having a Prime Day sale coming up on July 16th and 17th on Amazon and on their website. So you can get in on that. And in advance of that, you can buy different shopping vouchers for it prior to it on the website. Also, we got a discount code down below. So anything, you know, $1,000 or more, there's an extra discount code you can use towards that. So having said that, check out all Blue Eddie stuff. They got a bunch of cool stuff. Home backup powers, smaller things, bigger, well, almost everything in between you can think of. They have a lot of stuff. Coolers, ice makers, built in the coolers, all kinds of stuff. We've shared a lot in the channel. Been great to work with them. Check out all the links below. If you want to check out specs, more products they have, sales that are always coming up, all that stuff, check down below and get down on the giveaway. And thanks to Blue Eddie for sponsoring the video. So I totally forgot to show that the pad's actually poured and ready now too. You may have noticed it in the last video. It was in the background when the trusses were being brought in. But we had meant to show you know, it up close here so you can just take a look at it. But it's all ready to go. So there it is. It's 24 by 24. Got a drain in it. It's an engineered slab so it's thicker on the outside. and We'll be ready to frame it up here soon. The main thing is to have this framed with the roof on it before winter's here so we have it for that like we were saying and the same with the extension get that all framed in that actually would need to be insulated and stuff too but get all that part done so we can work on it in the colder weather inside Okay, so it's been raining, but remember we cut the insulation underneath so that it would just leak through. That was the reason why, because I knew this would happen at some point, some rain. Like we said, we'll just go back under and tape the insulation later, and it'll be all good. But I'm going to frame up the interior wall here to divide this bathroom off from the bedroom. I'm also going to frame a little closet, and then there's going to be a doorway also in through this here wall that'll be here. So it'll be like a doorway right over there that you can walk in from the bedroom and it'll go past the closet into the bathroom. And then also there already is a doorway into the bathroom from that side. So it'll be like two doors to get into this one. Right away, I can tell this brace is going to be in the way because I'm going to build the wall this way and lift it up. So I'm going to pop this out of the way. Nice to be a little more in the middle with uh, that brace, but with the wall there, it's kind of in the way. So I'll pull it in a little bit, and once the wall's there, that'll tighten the whole thing up anyway. Pretty hang on, anyways. Just throw a couple nails in it to hold it.
realize how bad that one is. I'll use that for cripplers. Look at the twist in that thing. Sure you can tell. Yeah. It's hard to tell, but it's pretty bad. The end here's real bad. There's like a knot, double knot here, I think, and then another one up here. That'll work for cripplers. See in behind here, I don't have anything right now for when you run ball boards or whatever to nail to. So in each uh, interior wall, I'll, I'll go in after and throw something here so there's something to nail to for the wall boards. If you're wondering, if anybody's wondering why that's not there yet, I'll just do it after. Alright, so that's that wall. That's so you see this will be like a walk-in off the bathroom or the into the bathroom from this bedroom. And then right here, I'm just gonna do a closet right here. So I'll just come out a couple of feet and then just somewhere's right around here.
the rain an awful lot more frequently now. Needed the rain though. All right, so that's the end of the interior walls. Let me give you an idea how this all goes together here. Okay, so these are temporary stairs going up. Eventually be a deck here. This would be the passageway along with that window taken out to come over to here. Build that, frame it up once the roof's on this. This will be a vaulted ceiling in here, 16 by 24. A couple big windows here. That's an entry into the bathroom. This goes into the main bedroom. These are egress windows too, so you can get out these if you need an emergency. And then here's the closet I put. So that's six feet wide, this door. And then this is two feet, so you you know you have hangers in it without them rubbing the walls or whatever. And then you can also get into the bathroom through this. This is the 28 inch door, it's a smaller one, so I have more room. That's a one piece tub probably going to go on this wall and then here is the bathroom the other bathroom door I showed you it walks out into the big room so it's uh, off and on raining and there's rains I think kind of picking up again so I'm going to call that good for now all the interior walls are done I have all of the top plate on the interior walls I just need to go around and put them on the exterior walls, the top plate, and then we're ready to throw those trusses up. So that's pretty cool. We'll have the roof on her. We'll start putting the roof on it. So thanks for being here and see you in the next one.